In the previous part of the course, we have installed cPanel using Contabo server. Now, in this video we are ready to set up hostname and DNS of our hostname. If this sounds good to you, please hit that like button, and let's get started. First, we want to log into our Bitvice SSH client. Next, log in as root to your server or VPS via SSH. Now, let's run WHM login command to get the login link of our cPanel server. You may also log in using your credentials by navigating via your browser search bar to http colon forward slash forward slash your IP or hostname colon 2087. Once logged in, let's then navigate through the search bar and select Change Hostname. Furthermore, scroll down to the bottom and then we will enter our preferred hostname. Also, we want to make sure we have set up our DNS pointed to the IP of our server as an A record. To do this, let's go ahead and log into our domain name registrar or domain service provider. And if you are following along with this course, we have used Namecheap for this case so let's go ahead and log into our account. Add your username and password. They will then ask for an authorization code which will be sent to our email address. Once logged in, navigate to the domain list. Click on Manage button. Then click on Advanced DNS tab to register private name servers. We will need to paste our server IP for NS1 and NS2 records we will register. In the Domain tab, navigate to the Name Servers section then select Custom DNS. Add your preferred name servers or the ones we have registered earlier in the Advanced DNS tab. Once the name servers has been set up, we will check if the A record of our hostname has been set up correctly by cPanel automatically. To do this, search DNS Zone Manager in the search bar in our WHM then click on it. cPanel automatically adds DNS Zone when we set up the hostname for the server, which is amazing. Now, let's see if the IP is correct inside or if we have an available A record pointed to the correct IP along with the hostname value of our server. Hmm. Seems all good. Oh, and before I forget, let's go ahead and set up our private name servers too in the server. 
To do this, navigate to the search bar once again and look for Basic Web Host Manager Setup then click on it. Make sure to hit the Basic Config tab then scroll down to the bottom. Check the name servers 1 and 2 if they are correct with what is set up in your domain registrar, and then let's check the IPs if they are also correct. Well, that should be fine. Now, let's see for the IPs. Looks like it's not set up yet here, so let's add it. And that should be all. Okay, to recap, we have set up two points in this video. One, host name for our server, and two, private name servers for our server. We will continue the others in Tay next series of videos so don't forget to subscribe to never miss any updates about this course. And if you haven't already, kindly comment down below if you learned from this video say yes and stay tuned in my next video because i will mention or shout out randomly from the top 10 people who comments in my videos furthermore thank you for watching this video until next time take care